Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an everyday school makeup look and this is my kind of makeup look that I would wear to sixth form because obviously in sixth form you can wear more makeup than you can lower down the years. So this is related to me. Um, if you can't wear this much makeup then don't. Um, but this is basically my school makeup look and I hope you enjoy the video. Right, so we're going to begin with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm to act as a primer on my face. It just kind of sets my makeup in place and is a great base for foundation. The foundation I'm using today is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour. This is full coverage and it's perfect if you just use one pump of it for school because it disperses over my face perfectly as you can see. I just dot it all over, make sure that I bring it down onto my neck as well. And then using this buffing brush, I just blend it all into my face. I literally love watching this in people's videos because I just think it looks so cool that your whole face just turns the same color. So there we go. Next up, I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which literally everybody uses. And I pop this underneath my eyes to give extra coverage, but also to brighten. The reason why I don't pop it on the other eye and the rest of my face just yet is because it does dry quite quickly. So I need to work really, really fast. So this is what my base looks with concealer and foundation and I now use my collection sheer loose powder to just set my face. A lot of people actually say that this oxidizes on their face which means it goes a bit darker but personally I don't find that and I personally love this powder. And it was only three pounds. Now I'm taking these Natural Collection Bronzing Pearls and literally they are like my new favourite makeup product and they can look super duper natural as you can see but if you build it up it can actually look really really good and you can get it to look you know quite intense. The pigmentation is actually quite good and I just pop that all around my face, it's perfect for school which is why I was so excited to use it in this video. So this is what my face looks like with the bronzing pearls on it. I absolutely love it. And I'm now taking this blusher, which I bought from Amazon. It was literally one pound something. It's a really nice peachy color. And I just popped that onto my cheeks. I kind of did put a little bit too much on it, but you can obviously make it a little bit more subtle if you want to. Now I'm using this pink MUA highlighter. I was about to say bronzer. It's definitely not bronzer, it's highlighter. And I just pop that up my cheekbones. I don't like to use too much. I don't like it where there's a massive stripe of highlight. So I just sort of subtly pop that all around my face in the areas where you need it. Now I'm going to use a brush just to blend all that in. I just think blending everything together afterwards kind of makes Sort of your makeup come together, everything just to look a little bit more natural and, well, it can't really look natural, but do you know what I mean? Just not as harsh. And today I'm taking the Zoeva Coco Blend Eyeshadow Palette. The pale white shade in the corner is going to be the base shade. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go in with a caramelly colour, which looks like this. I don't know the names, I do apologise. And I just pop that into the crease. This could act as a transition colour for other sort of more dramatic eyeshadow looks, but it does actually look really good on its own. Now I'm taking an even darker brown colour and I'm just going to put that into the crease and kind of wing it out slightly. I feel like when you wing your eyeshadow out it actually looks so nice and it just adds a little bit of more of a something to your makeup that looks quite nice. And once I've done my eyeshadow I just like to blend it out just so that it's not so harsh and it kind of seamlessly blends in with the rest of your face. Now for eyebrows, this is a Maybelline brow pencil and it is kind of difficult to use because it kind of goes a little bit too dark but I do lightly use it and it does give kind of a bit of a natural brow so I tried my best but then I actually finished off doing it in the mirror. Now I'm going to use the felt tip end and I'm just going to fill in any sort of sections of my eyebrow that kind of needs it, just wherever. Now this is a Primark um, 
yeah, that's right, Primark brow kit. I was like, what, Primark, what's that? Um, and I take the darkest shade to kind of buff out the edges and then I take an even lighter shade to buff out that, just so it looks a little bit more ombre. I don't really know if I'm making sense. Now I'm using my Insta Fix and Glow from Rimmel and I just pop that all over my face. It just makes your skin look more dewy, sets your makeup in place and there we go. I'm now curling my eyelashes and it actually, I was literally curling my eyelashes for about five seconds on each side. It was so quick. Didn't really do anything. Um, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous, yeah, Voluminous, uh, something mascara. Sorry, I just, just did something weird there. Um, and I'm just popping that and coating it all over my lashes. This is my current favourite mascara, so that's why I'm using it. To finish off the makeup look, I'm using this Essence lipstick in the shade number six. And literally, I love this lipstick. It's probably my favorite one. And it just looks kind of like a nudie, natural brownie color. And I just love it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my school makeup look. I've got plenty more back to school videos to come. This is just another one of them. So give the video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos and I will see you in my next one.